Hello, 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 guys. Welcome to another day of December. And today is Forgotten Snacks. And yeah, I kind of forgot that we needed snacks. But Effie to the rescue because he keeps me on my toes. Actually found some forgotten snacks because I do have a drawer on my desk here that I keep little snacks because yeah who doesn't right and go tell go get it Effie see if you can go get the so he remembered that I had some hot tamales one of my favorite favorite candies I don't really eat candy much but sometimes I do get these because they're cinnamon and I love cinnamon like way more than I should and and they are gluten free fat free so that's nice they just have a lot of sugar unfortunately but they're just maybe you guys know it's a chewy sorry my nails are grungy somehow um you know chewy candy so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this so mm-hmm and I'm gonna use the box and we'll put the rest of them in here shall we Anyway, truth be told, I could probably eat the whole box in one setting, but I try really hard not to. And I think that's why I put them in my drawer here at my desk. And then I honestly, I do forget about them sometimes. So here we go. Thank you, Effie, for reminding me one of my favorite candies, hot tamales. Oh, you're going to go. Oh, you're going to go watch some TV by the fire. That's a great idea. OK, see you later. Bye. All right, so what I thought, let's open. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So I thought I'd be boring and just make a tag since we're on the page with a pocket right here. How convenient. And I'll use this as my tag. And then I was playing around because I'm trying to... Um, do some fun stuff. I took two pieces of tissue and put some yarn between it um, just to make some cool texture. I thought this would be kind of a cool journal cover. But then I was like, mm, I don't know what I want to use for the back. So I'm going to use this for the back and have the strings come out. And then for some writing space, since this is kind of hard to write on and it's tissue paper, even though it does have... Um, Mod Podge, maybe this side doesn't have as much, but if you write in like felt tip pen, it's gonna bleed through. So I'll just cut a few strips or put that in the middle as I'll, as our journal lean spot. So let's go ahead and get started and take the box open. How are you guys today? I wanna welcome all of our new, my new um, subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. My name is Ketra, I'm an artist. And I just found junk journaling just this year and self-taught digital artist, but I've been doing art all of my life and I have taken quite a few college art classes. So that's me. And next year, um, yeah, things will be a little different. I'm still going to do junk journaling though. All right. So here's the... I mean, I want to use this whole thing because I thought maybe these little can candies would be a cute little dangle off the um, tag, but there is a few on the back, so we'll see. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out and use the whole thing. And my doggies are outside the door and you can see their little paws from underneath there I may have to go let them in they may start whining but that's okay so here's gonna be pocket tag that works out just perfect <clears throat> and I just I probably this is just easier for me to fold it and then cut I know there are all sorts of ways to get the tag 
and then yeah let's make sure it's even though and just cut and then there we go okay so now I kind of wanted these strings maybe we'll do that at the bottom probably a better idea I will I think I'll do that and get a pencil and trace this time So does anybody else like hot tamales? Mm. I love those little cinnamon candies too and the cinnamon discs, but I kind of freak out about the red dye in them, otherwise I'd eat more. Not because they're very full of sugar, no, 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 it's because I'm more afraid of the red dye in those candies and probably even in this one too. So it's definitely a treat when I do get a chance to get some. I don't know where my line is there. Let me retrace that. There we go. Has anybody ever um, done yarn between tissue paper? My initial thought was for texture because I'm planning on getting a jelly plate soon. And I'm in the middle of uh, designing my own stencils and I'm just printing them out on my Silhouette machine and I'm just using file folders for it because I don't have the stencil material per se yet. So pretty excited about that. I'm going to just fringe these up a little bit and this will be the back side. I mean, why not, right? It's kind of pretty. I mean, you don't really even have to journal on it. You know, that's where I, I get a little stuck sometimes. I thought about, you know, sewing around it, but this is so dark. I mean, I could sew around some white thread, but I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to initially, I think I'm going to do glue stick. See how this goes. Should work out pretty all right. After all, it's just for me, so. Oh, sticky, sticky. Okay, there we go. some glue. I don't know. My thoughts were, but I kind of liked seeing this yarn. Maybe we'll just get some more glue and treat it that way with watered down, just school glue. And I think you should be able to write on it afterwards. We'll just maybe make it to where it won't bleed through the tissue paper when you write on it. So I may just leave it like that. We'll let that dry. I'm going to set this aside now for the pocket. Yes, this is um, just cheap old watercolor paper that I got at the dollar store. And it's grayish um, off-white. So I found a stencil that closely could closely that had these flames see how there's these flamey marks I could draw them but <clears throat> I wanted to not take up your time because I fuss over it so I don't know if you can see this part in the stencil here let me see if I can get some white paper here so you can see just this part kind of looked like a flame to me so 
I decided I have some Scarlet, which is practically the same color, pretty good match. So what I thought I'd do is I paint it white, I think, first. That's what I was gonna do. Let's get this lid, put some white paint down. Get my paintbrush again. How are you guys doing today? Did you have a good holiday, good Christmas? I hope you did. I'm not gonna paint this too opaque. I'm just gonna take off some of this yellow grunge. Knock it back a little bit. I might as well just cover that for fun. Do under here. I really couldn't think of a focal point. I really kind of want to glue on a hot tamale, but in the future that probably wouldn't work out so well. It'd fall off. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and think about something here. If we look at the back, I wonder if I could just use these little ones as little charms. So I don't have anything else that I could use. Where did my little scissors go? There they are. So I'll just use these two little hot tamale. Or I could cut one off and use the back. Here, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this one even though it's not the actual size. Okay. Okay. I know Riley's whining at the other side of the door. I should probably let him in. My mom is still here. She It's snowing, and so I just had her stay another night. And there's a fire going, and I thought maybe the puppies would want to hang out there. I don't know. That doesn't really look like a hot tamale. Maybe we just won't. Never mind. Okay. Scrap that idea. Okay, so fairly dry. We're going to move on and I'm going to do, hopefully this doesn't smear, but if it does, we'll just paint over it. kind of just wanted to do some flames in this scarlet red color. I don't use it too much. I think next year a challenge for me is to use the colors that I don't use too much in my art just to use the paint and not be wasteful the back of this kind of get it on it's a pretty good color though right let me move my coffee try to just see how that works I don't know yeah not bad we'll just go with it I suppose we could stamp to. I kind of wanted this to be fairly simple, but actually my original thought was to do like a shaker card and I'd never done a prototype. So it would be my first time doing it on camera. And I was like, nah, let me try to make one first. <laughs> and then I'll show you how I did mine. Have any of you guys ever made a shaker card? It's like a card. It's like a like a card or a disc with maybe you guys know what it is. Anyway, it's image in between two like clear plastic um, like packaging or what do you call those transparencies and you put little things in the middle and shake it and stuff so 
those are kind of neat and kind of fun looking. I know, Riley, I'll come and get you in a minute. Oh, goodness. Maybe we'll do one right here. Okay, I guess it kind of looks like, I don't know. Let me do one here. Not sure if I like it, but we're going to keep going with it. Because I don't know what else to do for this. Um, pockets. I don't know where to put my stencil. There we go. Okay, let's put the lid on here. It's just... Okay, well, it's a start. Let's see what else we can do to bump it up. Maybe I will erase some of these a little bit. Can you see that? All right. Are we even in? Oh, good. We were in frame. Good stuff. Nope, that is just going to smear, but we'll go with it. Just uh, maybe do that. Try to make, <clears throat> when working with red, I think is a difficult color because I've heard some other artists say we don't want it to look murdery. <laughs> and ever since I heard that, I've like been, oh my gosh, that's so true. But this looks more pinky now. Okay, that's kind of kind of cool. We'll let that dry just a little bit more. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to let this dry. I don't think I can do any more. I might take this to my heat tool. I'm actually thinking I'm just going to create a hole there. So that'll lay flat. Do that with and clean my hands. There we go. I'll dry this up, let that dry figure out what we can do more, maybe bring some of this color in, this burgundy maroon color and some black. And think about that while I'm getting this all dried up, guys. See you in a few seconds. All right, so I got, was I was washing my hands and stuff, I got my Derwent graphite paint pan and there's this color port. I just did a little corner test here. And I think I'll just kind of go in here, maybe, <laughs> just to give it some, because the white's kind of flat, obviously. Let's see, that gives it a little bit more interest, and it won't be so, I don't know what you would call it, honestly. <laughs> And as you can tell, the puppies were back in the house. We're back in the room, snarfling away. I guess it kinda could be interpreted as fire a little bit or smoke. But we'll just keep on, just continue doing this. Okay, so it's knocked down the white a little bit. It goes a little bit better, you know, with this burgundy color. Um, 
But anyway, it's just the background anyway, and this is going to live here, so it's more of a, a little bit of a background. I'm okay with this for myself, but okay, I'm going to stop there for that part. I definitely will have this red string, but what my what I kind of wanted to do is do a little. Um, I don't know why. I want to do a little hole there. I know I haven't ever used these reinforcements because I forget about them. But I saw them saw them sticking out in one of my containers earlier and thought, hmm. So I thought it would be fun to poke a hole, or maybe not. I don't know what color, but maybe, but put that on there with string hanging out of it, just for fun or something. Or I could do a hole, you know, punch a little hole. Let's just do that. I'm not gonna waste the, uh, what do you call those, um, eyelets. But it's a nice idea to try for further journal ideas, you know, it's really, for me, this is like practice. Um, actually, I don't need this. I have a regular old-fashioned single hole puncher tool. But yeah, I was trying to think of a different way to use these hole reinforcers instead of just for literally. I mean, yes, obviously that's great. A literal hole punch reinforcer. Here's my wonky hole. I wonder how this is gonna, where do I want it? I think I want it about there. Okay. Which I'm doing exactly what I said, but no, you know what I mean. I wonder how old these are. It's not coming off. Oh no, they're okay. But I kind of wanted to just, it's not really serving a purpose except for a design element. Give it some interest. And I'll probably just go with my China marker. Color that in. And maybe to represent the hotness of the tamale or something. Kind of just something kind of cute like that. Different. Kind of looks like a button now. You know, one of those metal buttons. I just discovered something really cool. Now, this is my own discovery. I'm not saying it hasn't been done before, guys. Maybe I'll just, instead of a bow, something like that. And I still have some cool, huh? Different, and it keeps this, well, no, it doesn't really, but that gives it a little bit of interest, maybe. Let's you do this again. This is just gonna put this in the middle and just figure out. Okay, and then for this one, I think I'll do red for the back. And I just put oh darn. Let's see. Put my red paint over here. color one of these. And we can do the other one. Probably just black on that one. <coughs> Excuse me guys, sorry about that. I'm going to move this out of shot for a minute. acrylic paint it does dry pretty fast right well that's drawing I think I'm gonna just darken up these edges I did with the paint here I don't think I'm gonna I don't think let's see how this looks the 
little bit of a Riley. Thank you, baby. They, these boys get to licking and sometimes after a while it just does my head in and I know they're just taking care of each other as they do, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> okay, that gives it a little bit of closure. <laughs> okay, so we'll do the black one on this side. And the red one on the side, it's fairly dry. Oh, look. Yes, that is definitely my MO. Okay, oh well. Let's do a little bit of a yarn. too bad. It's kind of cute. I really like my tag. <laughs> the pocket will do. Let me see. Because I can't help myself, I feel like I want to do this again. Just to kind of bring it all together, I guess. Frame it, I suppose. We won't go too heavy on it. just ever so slightly give it some depth, some shadow, dark shadow here. Seems to frame it off for me. Let's see, I guess if I do it this way, I don't know, and I kind of get some pleasure <laughs> out of just doing this. So I don't really have to worry about making a mistake. I'm just, it's like coloring, I guess. Nope, that actually, I like it a little bit better now. All right, there is our hot tamale tag. Now, my other question, I have this, I thought it might be fun to put it there, or it's already on the tag, but maybe we could just cut around it. Let's just look. Let's just see what it might look like. gonna go for it. I'm gonna put it right there. I'll use some art glitter glue and guys I think this is going to be a quick one. Thank you for joining me if you stuck with me. I appreciate you very much. Now I know tomorrow I believe a spaghetti box window. Of all the prompts this one I cannot come up with any ideas. Now, the other prompts, the ones that I didn't really care for, I always had an alternative. But this one is definitely, I don't know where my list is. Must be with Effie. But anyway, I'll figure it out. We'll see you tomorrow for Spaghetti Box Window. And if you haven't tried some hot tamales, I and you like cinnamon, mm, they are so good. All right, my lovely friends, thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you guys tomorrow and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.